Children get most of their vaccines when they are babies and toddlers, but there are five or six vaccines that are really important to get as an older kid or teenager. I'm an adolescent medicine doctor, taking care of teens every day in my practice. Vaccines are a great way to make sure my patients are as healthy and safe as possible as they start to explore the world and become more independent. In this video, I'll walk through the vaccines that are recommended for kids starting around age nine up until they graduate high school. The first thing you should know is that each vaccine is recommended at a specific age for two reasons. One, the vaccine will work the best with your child's immune system. And two, it is timed when your child or teen needs the protection the most. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the American Academy of Pediatrics and other medical groups have all agreed on a schedule for immunizations for adolescents based on these two factors. For example, we give meningococcal vaccines in high school. Meningococcal disease is caused by bacteria that can affect the bloodstream, brain, and spinal cord. And it is life-threatening if it's not caught and treated early, like within a few hours. It can be a terrifying fast disease. Every year, about 1,000 people in the U.S. get meningococcal disease. The biggest risk group is people between the ages of 15 and 21, the same time students are in high school or entering college and living in a dorm. It's really easy for infections to spread in these crowded places. So, giving the first dose of the vaccine at age 11 and the second dose at age 16 before college means teens will be protected when they're most vulnerable. And that's what we want. Let's go through the rest of the vaccines kids get during this time. First, flu vaccine. This is a vaccine that the CDC and the American Academy of Pediatrics recommend every year for everyone aged six months and older, including teens. Getting this vaccine before Halloween is a good way to make sure your teen is protected for the entire flu season. The flu is a really unpredictable virus, and we don't know which teens will have a mild illness, which means they can miss a few days of school, and who will have more severe disease that needs to be hospitalized. The vaccine works really well to prevent severe disease leading to hospitalization. So it's a good idea to make sure everyone in your home is vaccinated every year. Next, COVID-19 vaccine is important for all adolescents. COVID-19 vaccines have been given to millions of people around the world, including teenagers and younger children, and we know they're safe and effective. Vaccination is the best way to protect your teen from being hospitalized from COVID-19 or missing more school. And your teen can get their COVID-19 vaccine at the same time as the flu vaccine or other vaccines they need. Starting at age nine, you can give your child a vaccine that will prevent cancer. This is the HPV vaccine, which protects against human papillomavirus, a virus that causes cancer in both males and females. HPV causes cervical cancer, penile and anal cancers, cancers of the mouth and throat, and genital warts. The vaccine protects against the strains of the virus that cause more than 90% of these cancers. And it works really well. In the decade after the vaccine was first recommended in the United States, HPV infections decreased more than 80% in women and teen girls. That's really amazing. Why is it recommended starting at age nine? It's because we know that when kids get the vaccine at age nine, their immune system makes more antibodies. The vaccine just works better with your child's immune system at this age, so they build up better protection against these cancers. That means if your child gets the vaccine between ages nine and 12, they need just two doses of the vaccine. If they don't get the first dose until age 15, they need three shots. Getting the vaccine at the earliest opportunity is really the best way to make sure your teen is safe well before they are ever exposed to this virus. But it's not too late if your teen didn't get it at age nine. Just talk with your pediatrician about how to schedule it. At age 11 or 12, we give a vaccine called Tdap or TDAP. This vaccine is a booster to protect against three diseases tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis, which is also known as whooping cough. It's a slightly different version of a vaccine your child received as a baby, which is called DTAP or DTAP. The version for teens and adults has the same amount of tetanus vaccine, but lower doses of the diphtheria and pertussis vaccines, which is why it has a different name. After your child gets Tdap at age 11 or 12, they will need a booster every 10 years as an adult as well. Let me explain more about the diseases this vaccine prevents. First is tetanus. This is a bacterium that naturally lives in the soil or dust, and you can be exposed to it through any break in your skin, like a cut or puncture wound. Tetanus produces a deadly toxin that causes painful muscle contractions. 
Another name for tetanus is lockjaw because it often causes a person's neck and jaw muscles to lock, making it hard to open the mouth or swallow. We will never eliminate this bacterium from our world, and so the vaccine is the best way to prevent tetanus. Second, diphtheria is a disease that causes a serious throat infection, breathing problems, and heart failure. Before we had a vaccine, it killed one out of every five kids who were infected. The vaccine is a lifesaver. Finally, pertussis, which we also call whooping cough. In teens, the illness can look like a prolonged cough that won't go away, sometimes with vomiting or trouble breathing. The protection your teen got from their childhood vaccine starts to wear off around age 11, which is why a booster is so important. This is especially true because teens can easily spread the disease to others, including infants, who are even more vulnerable. At age 11 or 12 is also when your teen should get their first meningococcal vaccine. We have two kinds of vaccines to protect against meningococcus. Meningococcal conjugate vaccine protects against four types of the bacteria, which are labeled with the letters A, C, W, and Y. Teens get their first dose of this at age 11 or 12 and a booster at age 16. Another type of meningococcal vaccine protects against a different type of the bacteria, which is known as type B. This vaccine is available for teens at age 16 to 18. Men B vaccine is recommended for teens who have certain chronic health conditions that make them more vulnerable or those who may be in an area where there's an outbreak. So it's a good idea to talk with your pediatrician about this vaccine too. If your teen didn't get other vaccines when they were younger, adolescence is a perfect time to catch up. That includes hepatitis A, hepatitis B, polio, pneumococcal vaccine, the measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine, which is known as MMR, and the chickenpox vaccine. If you're not sure whether your teen is due for any of these vaccines, it's a good idea to talk with their pediatrician or wherever you usually go for their health care. Their doctor can see what vaccines they have received and which ones they still need. Some colleges and universities also require students to be vaccinated, so check on these requirements early so your teen can get caught up before they leave for college. All of these vaccines are the best way to protect your teen and to give you peace of mind. Vaccines can protect teens from some major health problems, including infertility, muscle paralysis, brain damage, blindness, deafness, and cancer. Even some of the vaccines that teens got as a baby or toddler offer protection that becomes even more important as they grow into adulthood, like the chickenpox vaccine. Chickenpox can be fairly mild in young children, but can be much more dangerous in teens and adults. Many of these vaccines can literally save your life. My patients are rarely a fan of shots. They may hurt for a moment, but your teen will be protected for a long, long time.